throughout our island nation and right across the world, in both rural regions and ever-growing cities, demand for electricity is steadily rising. From the gadgets and appliances in our homes, to the countless computers and machines at our work, even the traffic systems that get us there, all rely on electricity, which we expect at the flick of a switch or the press of a button. At the same time, we remain heavily reliant on finite sources of energy. Fossil fuels, such as coal, oil and gas, will run out sooner than many of us realise. Adding to these pressures, the UK government has set challenging low carbon targets. It's clear that we'll all have to change to ensure a cleaner, more sustainable energy future. Some important parts of that future are already visible. Onshore and offshore wind farms and solar panels are helping to reduce our emissions and dependence on fossil fuels. However, as many of us take up new technologies, such as electric cars, the demand for electricity increases and the way that power flows around the network will change. In the UK, electricity has traditionally been generated at power stations. The current ageing network has been designed to supply that electricity around the country through a network of power lines to wherever the energy is needed. There is a great need for development and expansion. The future network will need to accommodate a big increase in much smaller generation sources, with power coming back into the network from a variety of supply points. With the network becoming an even busier, more complex place, we'll need to build more control into it in order to move power around as and when required. We've listened to the views of over 2,000 of our stakeholders and customers on what you feel we must achieve over the next decade. We've used this feedback to help us build our business plan for the next 10 years. Billions of pounds will be invested in our network over this period, and to help us deliver this, we will create around 2,500 jobs and apprenticeships. Our commitment, based on what you have told us already, we will reduce the time our average customer is off supply by 25%. We will prepare for low carbon technologies and the smart networks of the future. We will provide more capacity on the network and improve our new connections delivery speed. We will make the network even more resilient to storms. We will lead the industry in customer service and are committed to paying double compensation where we fail to meet agreed standards. Despite all of this, we're also acutely aware of the economic pressures faced by all of our customers and we're committed to driving down costs to make ours amongst the lowest in the industry. Our charges represent about 16% of the bill you receive from your supplier, yet we're investing more in the network than ever before without increasing average customer costs. We're also delivering savings for our customers by embedding innovation throughout our business. Our engagement doesn't end there. Throughout the next decade and beyond, we're committed to listening to you and acting on the feedback that you give us. Scottish Power Energy Networks. Delivering for you.